All right, the man is back. Gone reading week again to make some videos. And I thought I'd just do a little bit of what's happening on training, what's happening with my leg, etc., etc. People have asked, and I will deliver. So anyway, here's Strava. Best way to analyze it, really. Training picks are useful, but Strava I do prefer in some aspects, and this is one of them. So obviously, this is the week that the big man himself crashed a no riding pretty much once starting going to the gym here but this is the first proper week of training did four hours on the bike which is obviously no more like two hours on the bike with a little bit of gym stuff but anyway i just thought i'd go through the numbers so this is like pretty early on half an hour absolutely in agony the whole time 130 watt average um and like 150 normalized heart rate 156 like it was it's it's hard to describe what it's like when you're you're know, like riding 130 watts and it's like properly hard um and then you can see like i literally do like a tiny effort here and you get the heart rate up to 192 so you know, like at the beginning not much riding was going on normalized 150 for half an hour and like the main way i've been tracking my progress i'm not doing ftp tests until until later when i have some numbers like maybe if i had a, a smart train do a ramp test but at the moment like doing 20 minute effort is just bleh, can't bother and then again get another very easy ride 110 normalized so that was a lovely ride um, but anyway, we'll get rid of these because they're sort of irrelevant. And then we sort of had early on the first of October decided to, let's let's do an hour. So again, unfortunately, my power meter was out of battery or something. But anyway, you know, it's was, it was twenty six average, not bad, not bad. Um, and then you know we've got the first proper ride. We'll just just go find it. it was about two hours, I think, uh, one hundred and fifty normalized, and that was um, that was probably hard. Like this this ride here was, you know. I was, I was, you know, it wasn't like I was getting around easily. Um, they would think, it, yeah, it was about 140 weighted. So we'll come up to see what the normalized is. But um, yeah, 150 normalized, and it's it's pretty. You can see here this little climb here. I was doing like, I'll actually do the effort here, but it's like 263 watts for three minutes 30, and that was me going full hurry up like 204. You sort of see what I mean. It's in like at the beginning, it's just you know you have no form. 100 watts here, and my car rate's 156, like, it seems, but anyway, you, like, you gain fitness, like, super quick, even though I've got broken leg and stuff still, um, like, you know, following, we, we went out on another ride, it's just quite fun riding with the club, or whatever, and here's 200 normalized for a little less than two hours, um, hit some decent numbers up this climb here, Broccoli, Broccoli Coombe, I was doing, like, 263 watts for eight minutes, it's not bad. Obviously, I did Barrington Hill climb where I average about 280 something watts for 10 minutes or just under 10 minutes. And then the, and then another effort was 255 watts. And then the last bar here was like 283 watts for four minutes. So I think before me going full gas was 263 watts for three minutes, four minutes. At the very beginning of the ride, and I was done. And this is towards the end of the ride. You can see, like, I'm putting out some better numbers here. 15k an hour, 8% gradient is not it's not shabby. Um, it was pretty steep here, 9%, 15k an hour. I'm, not too displeased with that and then you know another solid ride you're just getting the k's in getting everything else and you can see this it's not a linear trend uh but i've sort of had some big weeks smaller weeks um i'm sort of having a rest week now like and the other thing i think that i'm realizing is that like i can't really predict my training very well because you just don't know if your legs gonna hurt like last week i was gonna do three hours on sunday rode for like 20 minutes and my legs started tingling and it was just wasn't good so i just had to head home um but yeah, so that was a nice ride. And then I decided I need to do three hours. So again, did three hours, 170 normalized, which like for most people, it's, it's, it's not bad, is it? Like, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, especially with like, I don't weigh much, 62 kilos probably at the moment, so I had that. Uh, and I did 260 watts for 12 minutes up. Up Chad, was, my mate was on the front and I was like, just, just hold on. He was doing a bit of an effort. Um, not full, but you know, decent effort for him. Um, and I'm like, it's not bad, not bad. I was just pretty pleased with that, that I could hold on. Like, the beginning of it was like 280, 280 watts for the first five minutes or something, 273, something like that. So, again, decent numbers. And then this one was like 200 normalized for two hours. It says it wasn't, but you know, both the, both these efforts were about 200 normalized for two hours, which I was pretty happy about. Um, but I wanted to go full on the last climb, but again, like, legs weren't really feeling it. But, um, you know, it's, it's been good progress. It's good, been, been good progress on the steep part here. 252 watts for four minutes. It's, it's not dreadful, especially the lower cadence. I find hard at the moment. Um, but you'll see my training piece is absolutely chaos. Like I've been trying to put it in what I've been doing and stuff, just to like you know give me some morale and stuff. But like you'll see weeks where I just can't do any of the stuff because I'm too busy. Um, and in other weeks here, like I did pretty much all the riding I had to do, maybe, but I missed you know occasional bits here or there. 
Um, again, it's just hard to make sure you do everything, but then this one was obviously good. And then since then, I've become a bit more strict on myself and really trying to get myself to do more. My efforts, so you can see here, Thursday was a decent day, but Friday, Saturday, again, didn't ride, just not really feeling it, whatever. But this was a better week. I missed the gym on Thursday, but apart from that, did all the rides I needed to do, went to the gym, etc. That's, I think the other thing I've realised is that I need to go to the gym because I need to be able to walk again. Like, in terms of walking, um, I didn't have physio for a long time, but I've now started to have physio again, and that's obviously a lot better um, in comparison to what it was because I can... But So I was basically developing, like, a limp and like using my muscles in the wrong way so I was firing the wrong muscles at the wrong times so I couldn't walk that well I sort of taking a step back so I can't walk well at the moment but it's getting better on the bike is getting a lot lot better um, and I think you know we'll be in we'll be in top shape uh, pretty soon this week again did eight and a half hours on the bike which is a little less than what I wanted to uh, but that was mainly just because of this ride here I wanted to do two and a half hours and then this ride was so grim it was like one of those days when it's just pissing it down with rain not warm either and you're just you're just not happy about it but you know the rest of it i did my did my efforts um i put tempo in but uh, this is another ride where my leg just wasn't feeling it but basically tempo just means i go harder zone two like you know zone two zone three i'm not doing tempo intervals at 200 watts it's just no point in my opinion like because the next week will be like 230 like you know the numbers just keep going up and this week i'm taking a rest week or so so i was trying to do decent you know decent efforts here two hours on wednesday hour in the gym and now I'm sort of having a Friday to Friday off, so well, Thursday off. So I still go to the gym. Um, I might just, you know, do easy spin tomorrow or whatever because I'm at home. And my proper bikes end up being too difficult. But, you know, just take the old bike out for a little spin, go to the gym a bit. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have a day off and then we'll go we'll go hard Friday, Thursday, Friday. The Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, probably not three and a half hours, probably more like three hours. But um, get into it and then, you know, I've picked up a week's a bit i'll probably turn it back but you can see the sort of tss is like 680 or 17 hours like normally 17 hours of proper training to 1, 000, 2, 200. um so yeah but i guess the main thing for me is just being able to walk and you know everything else but obviously i want to want to be in some good form as well but these are mainly just big endurance blocks at the moment and then we'll see in january what exams i'll probably do a bit more intensity and then after that, in February, we'll, we'll see how we're going and uh, see what's going to be happening for the rest of the year. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.